Number 72. 5,037. Is that what it feels like, Steve? It kind of feels like it, but I won't go with that. Okay, yeah, because we like doing these. This, oh, is, yeah. this is fun. This way we're yes. entertaining, like working. <laughs> and we're going to do it. So. Exactly. So it's so paper talk. Yes, as much here. as I can possibly be at this yeah. point. Yep. So, yeah. so we are talking about prepare for drop off, not prepare for take off. We're not going anywhere. You're dropping this off. Correct. Okay. So, why we're talking about this is because Steve will get things here. Uh, people make an appointment at BigCityRecycles.org. They'll say what they're going to bring in, and then sometimes they bring the things in. It doesn't match exactly what they thought yeah. it was, sure. and perhaps they're not prepared properly. So let's talk about how to make things Yes. Okay, so exactly. So we'll start out with uh, cardboard. We do get a lot of cardboard. Yes, we love cardboard. Yes. In fact, we are reusing our cardboard right now. We're on a bale. Yeah, we're actually on a cardboard bale. It's like a 1,200 pound block of cardboard. And uh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, we're reusing. So, okay, so people bring in cardboard. Yeah. This is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, flattened out, ready to go, and uh, less time consuming. Uh, we can put a lot more in a bale. For cardboard, if it's flattened out, um, so we, we're, yeah, we get this every once in a while. It's just cardboard that hasn't been broken down at all. Um, uh, it's just we got. I had to break them all down. It could be very time-consuming. And like I said, if I put them in here like this, then you don't get as much in the bale. You just it's just facts. Nice. It's facts. You don't get enough in the bale. <laughs> so. And box cutter, scissors, box, yeah, flattening. just real quick, flatten yep, flatten them down, and it's easier to transport, and then you can get more in your vehicle that way too. Because I've seen people come back with two or three loads of cardboard because people either, most likely, they move here, they're moving here, so yeah, and uh, they have a whole bunch of cardboard. So there's that one. So all right, flatten it up, and then flatten. so now we're going to talk about batteries. Ooh, batteries. Yep, um, so when they say sorted and prepared, basically it's more prepared than really sorted. Uh, we don't take lithium batteries. Um, so these ones here are in a bag, they're ready to go. They're just your typical nine volt. I can see what they're doing, I can see what they are. And then we have these guys, these are the nine volts. And I don't know if it's hard to tell, but these ones got some tape on them. And they're taped out on the ends because if these were to connect and in any way, or here. trash truck were here, they can cause a fire and they will start a fire and it will be bad. Um, so these are good though, because these are all taped up. They can be thrown in to your other batteries and it'd be just fine. These guys are not taped up. If they come together, they're gonna to start smoking and they can potentially cause a fire. And we this has happened, this is just like a, a could be thing. This has happened, not here. Yep. But we've had um, across the country, and I think there's even one down in uh, Metro Detroit area where there was a recycling facility mm -hmm. that caught fire believed to be caused by batteries. Happens in the yep. yep. So exactly. um, just be careful, the tape is the best thing. Absolutely. Yep. So, and they even have like, you even have like little caps you can buy that just go over these little plastic caps. Um, is so recyclable, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. All, yeah, yeah. All these are recyclable. So these get, uh, I don't know if it's melted down or, or, I don't remember how they do it, but yes, they are recyclable. That's why they're, that's why they come here. So keep it on the landfill too. Yes. Um, okay. So I now paint. Paint, so, uh, yeah, so paint is, uh, we get a ton of it. We get so much paint, and 99.5% of it is in, like, you, when you guys come here, it's in perfect, like, how you're supposed to have it bring here. Yeah. In a gallon form, yeah. or in quart sizes and stuff. Uh, we got the lids on them. It's not, there's no holes in them. That's what we like to see because paint is a bad thing when it gets all over the place. Which we have some pictures that we'll see, yes. I think sometime this month in August, where we somebody had put their paint in the trash and yep. done it properly and it got all of our transportation floor and the tires of our trash truck and not It can be potentially go down into, uh, you know, the sewer mm -hmm. if it's not contained fast enough. Um, you know, we have a contain, uh, spill containment process up here. If we see stuff like that, we use, uh, 
we help get cleaned up as fast as we can. So, so this is correct. So this is awesome. This is perfect. <clears throat> what, are the no, what are the no-nos? So, um, ones that have no lids on them. Uh, we, I've gotten people where they had just like no lids. Um, I've had, <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I've had people with plastic bags, just like not like not like grocery bags, but like Ziploc bags oh, with paint. Okay. I don't. Okay. Who, Who knew? Who I, I, and then we have normal. then we have your canning jars, which you can, if you can it for like at least three months, it's still gonna look like this. So. But this is also a no-no. Yeah, this is also a no-no. <laughs> This is not good. This is yeah, good. and and here is another reason why because we have latex and we have oil-based paints. So, uh, latex and oil-based paints they are um, they are recycled differently because of the properties of the chemicals that are in them. And when we have something that looks like this, we don't know what this is. We don't know if this is oil-based. We don't know if this is latex. What's in that? Um, so. I can it's super breakable. <laughs> super breakable. It's, yeah, it's not the proper way to bring them in here. Um, and I think glass is recyclable, so we prefer to recycle the glass. Yeah, I so I don't know if you, uh, the only other thing I can think of at that point is, you know, if you have something like this, use like kitty litter, you can dry these up. It might take a little bit, but then these can be disposed you know, properly. Yes. Yeah. So that's another option. If you don't want to bring them here, you can dry them out yourself. At you home could dry them out. Trash. Yeah. But it has to be completely dry. Like dry. Out. Yeah. I mean, most you know ones we see normally like in the trash, you know, uh, are completely emptied out. Um, there's kitty litter in some of those that we see, uh, which is fantastic. Um, but these, are, this isn't going to work. Okay. So. Now let's talk about bags. This, my friend. There's a free item here at the Basic Recycle Drop Off Center. As long as you make an appointment at basicrecycles.org. Just like that. Just like that. So, uh, so when people come in and they want to drop off their bags, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, totally cool. Most of the time, they'll have them in like another trash bag, which is fantastic. We have all these types of different types of plastics, which is great. Um, what is the no-no with that? So yeah, now if, if you want, and then this is prop, this is properly put together. I can take it. And I can put them in with my regular re, uh, recycling bags area. Then we get ones uh, no nos with um, there's like styrofoam in them. Oh. There's uh, plastic stuff that we can't take, like um, bubble wrap. Yeah. Bubble wrap's in there too. Bubble um, wrap I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you guys one that was brought to us. This is great. Oh. This is a whole myriad of they thought they were doing awesome. Which thank you for recycling. Yes. Water. So we got we got boxes, we have bubble wrap. Um, I think there was some there's some styrofoam here. There was some rigid plastic in there as well. I, I know I had seen. Um, if and all that stuff can be recycled. Uh, it just has to be it should be uh, what do you call it? Prepare for drop off. Yeah. Separated. Well, it's separated. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. And, uh, <sighs> <laughs> trying to be fancy. And stuff. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, yes. Uh, prepared for takeoff. Exactly. Um, so, if, yeah, you guys can separate the stuff out. It just makes it uh, easier because if I can't see some of the stuff that's in there, like this one, it was, it was obvious. You could see all that stuff. But when, if the a bag like this, or bigger, and it looks like all plastic, but there's like styrofoam and stuff, and then they go to our other processors to take care of the final recycling, then it's an issue on their end, and then we're gonna get a phone call back going, hey, you know, you guys are- Steve, you didn't know. Exactly. That's what I'm yes, yes, it's gonna come back out of me. So, so uh, no, so if, and then that will mess up their, their program, and- it's all right now. It's yeah, it's, it's a chain effect all the way down. So if I can catch it in the beginning, yes, that's fantastic. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we can separate that stuff out, it would be awesome. So, as you guys don't know, we're at the Basic Recycle Drop-Off Center, which is at 2900 North Water Street. We're at the Basic Recycle Center. Forgive me, you forgot um, So there's, this is where you do the recycling part. But up on the top of the hill is where the trash portion is. So we take recyclables and trash. So um, you might think that you just like, throw away trash, but there's actually a way to prepare trash to drop off too. What are some of the things you see here that people would do better? I think we're talking about like concrete and different things. Yeah. Like, what are some of the things people would do better if they're planning 
like utilize in the trash facility versus your site? Um, most of the time, what I would see is uh, people have like two or three extra garbage bags that wouldn't be able to fit in their trash can. No big deal, that's awesome. Uh, but then a lot I see is people coming in with trailers um, that have a mixed bag of stuff, I guess you would say. Um, so they have like construction material, which we'll go up there. Uh, I take build material up there. Uh, but then inside there is all is could be concrete, brick, um, scrap metal, uh, that type of stuff where it took or it takes quite a long time for them to separate it out because we don't want scrap metal going in there. There's no reason for that. That can get recycled out. Um, so there are things know. that go in different containers. Yeah, out so here on the property. Kind of all separate when you get here and yeah. save you time. It, man, yeah. man, you guys are out of here in no time. Um, uh, that's what that's I see that not you know sometimes I do see that sometimes I'm trying to see that no times <laughs> so yeah no times so anything else along those lines that people would do to speed up the process whether here or up there um let's see um cover everything do we forget anything here let me look let me look we have grand plans that we like oh yeah like this Okay, well it's definitely not paint and, okay. and people will like, they don't, they don't know. Yeah, this is acetone and this is a uh, concrete patch. But they thought it was paint. Well, Maybe. they thought they could just, people, when they bring their paint in, oh, I have this as well, or I have this as well. Um, That's more household hazardous. Correct, please. yes, which at no this paint. point, yeah, at this time we do not take um, that kind of uh, chemicals. Um, so I will refuse these type of items um, for now and until further. Yeah. And if you ever don't know, that, no, like what is this called again? That's heavy. Concrete. <laughs> the patch. concrete patch. If you don't know, go to the website basicrecycles.org. We have that redirectory tool. There's like a little search bar, and you type in concrete patch, and you hit search, and it'll tell you like, oh, we don't take this, but here are some places that may take it. Um, so we always give you suggestions. If we don't take it. Try to point you in the right direction of where it can go because we want everything when it goes here somewhere else to be properly taken care of. Absolutely, that's it. All right. um, I don't, I can't think of anything else for it offhand. Um, if you have, if you're paying with cash, please have exact change. It does say that somewhere. Everywhere. I, does it say it everywhere? I don't know. It does somewhere. It does. <laughs> I, I, I haven't made an appointment in a long time, so. I know it either says in like a confirmation email or just as you're finishing up your uh, appointment. Excuse me, I have changed. Whoever may be here that day, you just don't. Yeah, change. yeah, we don't, we don't, we can't make changes. So. Credit card, debit card, check, check exact change, exact. and you don't pay until you're done. So whatever right. you, when you make an appointment, you're not asked for money right then. You pay once Steve is verified. Yes. What you bring because it may not be, it may be uh, a different material. Yeah, different absolutely. Else. Yes, I just had somebody come today that. They were gonna give me a whole bunch of money. I'm like, oh no, it's actually just this. Wow. So. You fancy pants. I know. Okay. Being honest. And stuff. <laughs> uh, honesty is the best policy. Oh. Learned that like two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> no, like you're hard. Anyway, maybe younger. All right. That's it. Is that it? That's it. I think that's it. Talk. I'm gonna attach my microphone here. Go and stop the thing. But thank you for joining us, and we'll see you. Well, me and I don't know, James or Tim. We'll see you in two weeks. Perfect. Have a great day. Thanks a lot, guys.